from the discus. We're going to get the women F42-44 discus champions coming through. And in the background, I can see that the men's T53 athletes are getting ready for their final, where we will see another of the great names from these games, Peo Pongsakorn of Thailand. Can he get the third gold medal to make it a perfect score for him as well? Nobody would bet against it. One of the great young talents. So I'm not sure whether we're going to have the victory ceremony before the race or the race before the victory ceremony. We shall see in the full fullness of time. T53 is for wheelchair track athletes who have a high degree of impairment affecting the trunk and legs. These athletes generate power solely from the arms and shoulders. Well, it looks like we're going to have the race first, and I'm very happy with that. And here are the uh, athletes, and of course, the first name, very familiar to all the Singaporean viewers, William Tan, already gone in the 400 and the 100. He's going to try his luck. Um, sorry. Already gone in the uh, in the 100 and the 200. He's going to try his luck in the 400 as well. We've got Chun Pun of Cambodia, took the silver in the 400 meters, and was fourth in the 100. But the guy outside of him is the star. Pongsakorn Peo, or we've been calling him Peo Pongsakorn all week. Gold in the 100, gold in the 800, and because they're only allowed to enter three individual events. He had to give a miss to the 200, but nobody thinks that uh, he wouldn't have won that. Jack Lai of Singapore goes in lane five. Sopa Intersen of Thailand, bronze medalist in both 800 and 100, goes in lane six. And Ek Nansamot of, Cam of Cambodia is in lane seven. But all eyes will be on lane four. Do need to get fully warmed up. These T53 athletes, as compared to the T54, they have uh, much less use of the uh, torso. It's pretty much all shoulders and arms for these guys, with the emphasis very much on the arms. And you can see that a lot of the forward momentum is given by the upward movement where the wheel is being pulled up. So it's very much a, a biceps exercise. They don't really get any power from the shoulder or much power from the shoulder. So the arm's doing all the work. Usually it takes a little while to get everybody sorted out. Sopa into Sen. Just making sure everything's everything's set to go. Our senior citizen, let's say, William Tan, of course famous for his uh, long-distance wheelchair events. I fairly recently attended a talk that he gave to some students, which was truly inspirational. And I think on the same day he went off to take part in a 36-hour endurance event. It, it's remarkable. the rear view of William Tan, competitor 272, 
going in lane two. They don't use lane one. They've only got uh, they've got less than the full quota of eight athletes. So not using lane one is good. Representing Inside Singapore, lane difficult for these athletes. William Tarr. There he is, popular figure. One of the great in figures in Singapore to me, three. to my way of thinking. Representing Cambodia, Chun Pun. So Chun Pun of Cambodia, I think he's in with a very good chance of a medal in this Lake event. Four. Representing Thailand, Peo Pongsakorn. Peo Pongsakorn, gold medalist in 100, gold medalist in 800. Jack Lai. Jack Lai vying with William Tan for the oldest athlete, but just beaten by William Tan. Sopa Intersen. Sopa Intersen, another good prospect for a medal in this race. Cambodia, Ek Nansabot. Ladies and gentlemen, possibly one of the outsiders. 400 meters of final. Well, the game's record is 51.5. I think that's in imminent danger. From lane four, Peo Pongsakorn. Men's T53, 400 metres, we're ready to go. Seven. Away they go. And Peo Pongsakorn's already overtaking Jack Lai. And Peo Pongsakorn of Thailand has got off to a blistering start. Difficult to judge who's coming second at the moment. It could well be Sopa Intersen, even though he's been overtaken by Peo Pongsakorn. This young man is a class apart as a wheelchair athlete. He's blistering through 25.9 at the halfway mark and he's likely to do the second 200 meters quicker. The record time is 51.50, that's the one to look for. Certainly Sopa Intersen in the silver medal position, but nobody's gonna get near Peo Pongsakorn. Peo Pongsakorn, Chumpun in the bronze. Can he beat the record? 51.5 is the target. Oh, he smashed it, he's gone under 50 seconds. Second place goes to Sopa Intersen, third goes to Chumpun, but all eyes on Peo Pongsakorn, his third gold medal and another New Games record. And Jack Lai of Singapore in fourth. I think narrowly Nansworth Nansamot in fifth with William Tan bringing up the rear. Well, he's dipped under the 52nd mark and this really is a truly exceptional athlete. Winner of the 100, the, the 800, and now the 400 meters. A remarkable range of events that he can cope with. Skip the 200 because uh, of this three individual events rule. But uh, there's no question he would have won that as well. This is probably the best wheelchair racer we've seen for the men in the track and field. In his category, T53 really is an absolute star. And when we see him on the victory podium underneath that crash helmet, he has a wonderful Afro haircut. A real character. The best thing about him, he's just 19 years of age. What a great future this young man has. He was only 19 what, a week ago. And he's now got three gold medals from the eighth Para Games. And undoubtedly one of the stars of the event. I did promise at the start of the programme today that although we didn't have a huge number of events, the quality would be top draw, and so it's proving. 
the athletes this morning, absolutely outstanding.